tuning into another episode of the TJJ Show. And as long as you're in my presence, you'll be guided and protected at all times. Guys, let's talk about a little bit, a little bit of something here. So, if people are jealous and envious of you, you can't control these types of people and how they feel about you. This is all within themselves. So if anybody's gonna come at you with negative emotions, as hard as you try to change their thoughts about you and to make them know the good person that you are, no matter what you say, it's not gonna change them. They're gonna continue to be jealous and envious because they cannot fix the actions within themselves to get themselves to where they need to be. They would rather be stuck in their old ways. They would rather not make changes and adjustments and take the time every single day to keep continuing to learn and to grow and expand their mind to get them to where they need to be. The good person that you are, you know what, the most successful people and the people that are focused on themselves the most are the nicest, best, down to earth people on planet earth. And it's all these jealous and envious people that are behind closed doors saying that we're the bad people. It's absolutely ridiculous. The negative conversations that these types of people have are ridiculous. We only talk about the good. We don't have time to focus on the bad. We're getting better. We're expanding and we're growing our minds. And it's not up to us to take our time, our precious time, our limited time that we have on earth to argue and bicker back with these people to explain to them how we're not a bad person. Because the only thing they want from us, they know deep in their hearts that we are very good people. They know deep in their hearts that we are good people and that we have good hearts. What they want is our attention. They want us to take our attention off of winning, off of getting to that next level. This is what they want us to do, because they don't want us to win, because they know them, themselves that they're not going to win. They already told themselves this. They already made the plan that they're not going to get any better than where they are right now. And this is just the truth of it all. They want us to stop, to make themselves feel better, because they're not going to come along and join the, and join the clan. They're not going to come along and ride in the bus. They're not going to jump on the train. They're going to stay right where they're at. Because they don't see the problem what they're doing. And that's fine, but don't put us out to be the bad person. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous shit that they do. And it makes them feel bad if we want to get better and grow. And get better things in our lives. Get ourselves in a better position in our lives. And these are the people that want to tear us down and attack us and talk so negatively about us, but really, we are the best, humblest, nicest people on planet Earth. Negativity does not cross our minds. And if it does, we cancel it out. We scratch it. Negative thought comes in, scratch it. Negative thought comes in, scratch it. These people live in this bubble of negativity and they don't see a problem with what they're doing. They would rather live like that than put the energy that is needed into their own success. Because they don't want to take the time to read good books, watch good videos just like these on YouTube to help grow and expand your mind, to know more knowledge, to know more truth. The only thing we're focused on is consuming better knowledge that helps us and understand certain situations. And self-help and life advice topics are very good for getting to the next level because you might be going through a tough time in your life and you're dealing with something and you might turn on a video that you just needed to hear 
And these are the things that we are constantly doing. And we are constantly learning from other successful people around the world and hearing the truths of how things actually work. And we're actually using the knowledge to our benefit. There's so much knowledge out there in the world. So much, an unlimited amount. I could spend every second of my day for the rest of my life taking in knowledge and I'd never finish. I'd never get to all of it, it's impossible. There's never a point where you're gonna get to where you've made it, you know what I'm saying? There's always gonna be something else. There's always gonna be something else you can conquer. There's so many ways <clears throat> to get better in your life and improve. But people make up all these excuses not to do it. All the time. You can get better with your health, your wealth. You can become a better family member. You can become a better friend. You can become a better spouse by getting the right knowledge and putting this into your life. You can start reading books about your mindset. You can start reading books about how to get better at business. You can start doing anything like this. You can focus primarily on your health if you're an unhealthy person to fix up your diet. Maybe you're a meat-eating savage and maybe it's slowing you down a little bit and you have to cut down on eating so much meat. Maybe you want to switch it and reverse it and start going vegan style. Now, going vegan is very difficult. Going full out vegan. And me, myself, I was a meat-eating savage and now I'm very close to being a vegan. I'm still eating a little bit of meat. I still can't cut it out completely, but I will get to the point and I will experience what it feels like to live as a full vegan. But it, it is a weird transition. And when you go from eating so much meat and having such high protein, when you cut it down a lot, it starts to feel a little bit weird. You start to feel like a completely different person and your diet is everything. The way you eat is how exactly you will feel. Whatever food you eat is exactly how you will feel. If you want a better life, watch what you're eating because what you eat is going to make up your life. You got to make sure you're eating fresh fruit, vegetables, and all these things, all these good things, nuts, seeds, beans. Every fruit and vegetable you can think of, eat it. It will make you feel a million times better. And there's all this bullshit how healthy eating is so expensive, but yet these are the same people that go out on the weekends and have $100, $200, $300 weekends. Spending it on ridiculous shit. What, to give themselves a good time for a couple of hours and it's all gone? And you just wasted all that money? And all that money you could have just spent a week or more on healthy food? But yet you'd rather these two toxic hours, three hours, four hours, to have a little bit of fun. This is why people are behind in life. It's all these things that add up. It's all these things that people aren't doing that are jealous and envious of people like us that want to get better. And we're doing everything in our power to get better. Going out on the weekends is not that fun to me. I don't do it no more. If I do it, it's probably once a year. And I don't even drink. If I have a drink, it'll be a glass of red wine. I don't drink beer anymore, no hard alcohol. Maybe some red wine, because there is health benefits from that. And I do like myself a little wine buzz every now and then. But I'm not gonna go out and spend $300 on a weekend. It's stupid. That's a lot of healthy food that you're complaining about that you can't afford to eat healthy. Stupid. Anyways guys, so the whole point of this video is just don't even bother with jealous and envious people. Let them do what they need to do. We're focused on getting better. Let them live their lives because it's what they do. They live a lie in their own head to make themselves feel better because they don't want to do what it takes and they don't want to make the, the adjustments to actually do better in life. They'd rather tear us down because we are doing it. We are doing what they are unwilling to do. They could do nothing but attack it. Because it hurts their damn feelings too much to know that we're doing it better than them. And it's just the truth. 
I'm going to cut this video short, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked and you can relate to this video. Share it with a friend if you think this can help somebody else. I'm out. Until next time.